Corruption never looked so pretty. Stick around, we're going to be talking about Memento Mori from Two Little Mice. Hey everyone, welcome to Victory Conditioning Gaming. My name is Doug. Today on the show, we're going to be looking through Memento Mori from Two Little Mice. This is a box set, uh, although you can probably pick up the books individually as well. This was uh, a crowdfunding campaign. I think it was a backer kit campaign that Two Little Mice did. And uh, yeah, it's they did it super, super quick. Uh, if you love like kind of that... Uh, I don't really want to say it. It's almost like a post-apocalyptic uh, death, corruption, dark, uh, alternate history, Europe, alternate European history. This is definitely a, a product that you're going to want to take a look at. If you are coming across uh, the channel for the very first time, please hit that subscribe button and all that. If you are a fan of Two Little Mice and Memento Mori, uh, make sure to hit that like button down below. Uh, and uh, I know this is a big passion project for the folks in that studio. Um, thank you to them for providing this copy for us to look through today. And, uh, you know, hopefully you backed it on their back fit campaign. Uh, let's just take a look at this box set. Uh, love, love the gold foil uh, on the back here, or maybe it's the front. We're going to take a look. Um, and then even the gold foil. Uh, love Danielle's art for this. This is a really clever way of uh, sneaking Danielle's art into this product. Uh, the art, most of the art is done by uh, other artists. Uh, let's just take a look. So this is sneaky clever. This is a box set where the GM screen comes off like that. Like if you want to display this, oh, So good um, and it looks like it has four books in here so if you want to display it like this uh, Rico said that he did make it so that you can put this uh, this GM screen and it's got magnets just like the household box sets you can put the the GM screen around the other way if you wanted to uh, I love that because a lot of times that's a little so, little attention to detail because as we all know how magnets work, sometimes you can make a product and it, you know, lines up the the ends of the magnets and doesn't make it uh, make it work. But Rico and Simone and Danielle made it work. Uh, inside the GM screen, some quick reference charts and all that. The outside, of course, looks like that. Now the GM screen is a little bit smaller than it, than I would have probably liked, but of course it is actually just wrap around the box set, so it works in a pinch. And uh, this is a fairly rules light -like game, so you're not going to want a whole lot of uh, of charts, or you're not going to want and you're not going to need a whole lot of charts and, and reference stuff. Uh, so you've got combat dice and corruption and gifts, uh, one for each of those panels. This box set is actually noticeably a lot lighter than most of the box sets that two little mice uh, make and uh, that's mostly because of this book Let's take a look here in just a second so inside is this box set is uh, four books Let me take a look. Uh, you've got your memento mori uh, core book terrific terrific gold inlays on that. Um, I love the fact that the pa page edges are gilded uh, in gold as well. The It's got a nice black uh, cover page and then a title page and then it's got uh, let's see here, it's like 300 pages. It's a little, little under 300 pages. Uh, it feels like a relic like that's what I love like it feels like it should be something from that period of time uh, I love the black and white art in this this is a d6 uh, dice pool uh, mechanic basically as you play you get more corrupted and you get more powerful but eventually you're going to die that corruption is going to kill you 
Um, so it's it's really great for like short sessions, really a uh, couple section. So it's not going to be a huge, huge long epic campaign. If you are digging like Mork Borg, that type of stuff, you're going to want to play Memento Mori. It's just a role-playing game in which players come together to recreate adventures of a group of drifters. Drifters are people sick with the plague who, despite their condition and the terrible reality of 14th century Europe, are determined to fulfill their dream. Uh, basically, the sickness plaguing them opens doors to new and darker worlds full of power, suffering, horror, and opportunities beyond imagined. So this is definitely a more mature RPG. You're not going to want to play this with young kids. Uh, this is definitely... Uh, you're definitely going to want to check in with your players to make sure that they want to play this before you get to the table. Um, just because that's the, the polite thing to do. Love the fact that this is, like, got some texture to it. It kind of reminds me of the Forbidden Lands books a little bit. It's not quite that textured, but it's got some texture to it. it is basically everything you need to play this game. So Memento Mori, the book, this is... This is it. So the next book is the Codex Gigas, the same type of book. Like it's got a nice texture to it. It's got some nice gold inlays uh, or nice gold foiling on the, the cover, uh, the nice gilded page edges. This is kind of a world book. So if you uh, are interested in the uh, Memento Mori world and setting, and you want to know more about it, this would be the book to pick up. This is, um, uh, this is just a book that, uh, even if you didn't want to play the RPG, you could just pick this up and read it. It'd be, it'd be really, really sweet. About it's a little under 280 pages. So it's a little bit smaller than the core rule book. Um, but this is just a really great read, and it's kind of stuff of nightmares. Which is awesome, and it's got some amazing art in it as... as uh, Codex Gigas. Third book is this, uh, the Ex Vellum. It's a green book. Awesome. This book is a compendium of the uh, esoteric knowledge from beyond the veil, which aims at completing what was included in previous tomes. In these pages, you will find everything intentionally kept hidden about the ephemeral land, its stolen truths, and lost secrets. So basically, this is going to reveal a lot of different secrets and stuff. So if you'd like to kind of keep that stuff like unknown, probably don't want to read this. Again, some really great art. If you love that black and white art, this is great. The Arca Fatty. So I think this is this is actually this looks like a book, but it's actually a box of different things. Um, so this is like kind of the stretch goal box that came in it. And I love the fact that uh, Two Little Mice made it look like four books in this box set. Um, inside this box set you're going to have your dice pouch. You're going to have your D6s. Um, you've got black. You've got your black corrupted dice and your white dice. Um, the pips on the dice. I kind of want them a little bit bigger. I don't. My old man eyes. Uh, I can see how they would be kind of in theme, but kind of like a little bit bigger pips on my dice. Uh, you get your deck of tarot cards, which if you haven't seen the tarot, the tarot cards in this deck, um, it's not a full deck, but it's a good, good sized uh, deck of cards. Um, there are some amazing gold foil cards in this deck um, just to have. Uh, I think this is uh, definitely, I, I don't want to spoil this because this is an item that you definitely need to see in person because uh, the foil is just, there's one card in particular that's just like, is there any black space on it? No, it's all pretty much just black or gold foil. Uh, you've got your uh, bookmarks in here. These are swords, uh, different swords, blade of desolate of dissolution, palpitation, pul palpitation, silent roar, just these are different uh, and it kind of on the back it gives you a description. So these are kind of like adventure prompts. So you can just pull one out and uh, kind of get, get up and running with those, which is awesome. 
Uh, it's like nice little box set. Kind of makes it look like a four book box set. This is definitely the box set that if you are big into this this game and in this world, this is what you want to pick up. Um, you probably don't want to just pick up the the core rulebook. But if you're just a player in this game, probably just want to pick up the core rulebook. Just because um, if you pick up everything else, it kind of spoils the rest of the setting. Which, you know, a lot of these box sets do if you are a player and you just read everything. Another really high quality box set from Two Little Mice, Memento Mori. Like I said, if you want to play something that's dark, that's corrupt, that's definitely a lot more mature, and you're into like that more Borg type setting, this kind of puts it up to another level um, and uh, definitely gives you that alternate 14th century European uh, setting. This is definitely a product that you're going to want to just play like maybe two or three sessions of, maybe even just a one shot, um, and then go back and find some more drifters uh, or create some more drif drifters to, to kind of adventure with because uh, this game in particular uh, is not built for long-term play just because of the way the mechanics are. As you're playing, your dice get more and more corrupt and you get more powerful, but it also means that uh, your end is coming, coming near. All right, that's gonna do it for this look at Memento Mori, the Deathless Edition. That's what it says on the box. The Deathless Edition. It is an amazing box set. Again, I keep saying this on this channel, but Two Little Mice is doing some amazing products. Uh, they definitely put a lot of attention to detail in everything that they put out. Their books are definitely art pieces in addition to really really solid games mechanically and uh i'm excited to see memento mori i'm excited to see more household i'm excited to see more outgun from them um just go make sure you follow them on social media um, if you've picked up any of their other products let me know uh, i'm super excited to see what kind of uh community gets built around memento mori i think that a lot of the board community is going to dig this uh, book is this this product line as well. In fact, you might even see some of those some of those things that are in the setting of Memento Mori get brought over to Mork Borg, and maybe some of those things that uh, were built for Mork Borg you might see uh, in place in Memento Mori when people get uh, this this to the table. This uh, again, thank you to Two Little Mice. Rico, Simone, Daniela, Katarina, thank you for providing this copy to me. Uh, I am super excited to get to the table. If you'd like to see a session of Memento Mori on the show, just let me know in the comments. Um, because, uh, yeah, it's one of those games that uh, definitely is a little more mature. So make sure that you have the right audience for it. Make sure you check in with your players and make sure that they're, they're okay with uh, all of the disgusting and wild stuff that uh, is going to happen in Memento Mori. All right. That's going to do it for this se for this session. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Uh, if you've watched all this way and you haven't already hit that like button, please hit that like button. Uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, remember, winning shouldn't be the only victory condition when you get to the table. We'll see you next time. Bye now.